Perhaps I'll cast a spell. To look around the room. I'm just look around the room to see if there's... Pretty much anything that might be useful for information and or looting. Cut <laughs> contract. You see in this room a number of torches lighting the walls. Um, four, two pristine torches on each of the four doors in the room. However, on the fifth door, which is more oriented, um, is surrounded by four pedestals. Well, I think we found the puzzle, everyone. And I was going to go this way around it. Same with Kren. Well, looks like we found the puzzle for this stunt for here. Four doors, four pedestals. So, I'm gonna ask this as a joke, Nephrite, but do you guys want to split up for everything or go after it together? I'm sorry, was that supposed to be a haha joke or a joke that makes me want to raise my eyebrow? Either On top or. of that, Alish, do you sense anything in here? Alish, you can set some kind of um, magic on the torches that light up um, whenever someone's in the room. And a little bit of magic on the flowers to make that makes them bloom and pristine underground. Oh. Ogman just widens his eyes as he just does a face palm. I don't think I was actually joking now that I think about it. It's wrong, Ogman. Myself, you, Saber. No, Kotara, Alige, Holnir, Nephrite. How many doors? How many people? So it's a question of do we try to put a crown on the statue or do we try to put something on one of the pedestals? I think we might be forced to split the group because each door has a two torch system. And as you said, they have magic on them. Could, so could each room only allow two people in them? It depends on the nature of the magic. The torches might be just something that automatically happens if somebody falls into the room. Understandable. Olnir will get close to one of the pedestals and inspect it. Well then, oh. leader, whom would you like me to pair with? I don't think the puzzle is the doors themselves. And Kat, I got a question for you because I was just about to type it. Shot in the dark, and y'all can claim that it's a dumb question as much as y'all want. Are the are the flowers safe to pick? Like one way to yeah, find out. Yeah, they are being maintained magical, but I don't know if the stars themselves are magical. Um, because pardon. here's the theory. Oh. Here's the theory. If they're safe to pick, what if we craft the flower crown itself to see if it's worthy for her, pointing towards the statue? It is one of the possibilities. Mm-hmm. And it does seem a safer possibility than splitting up the group into four separate cardinal directions. Mm-hmm. True. Just because there's four doors, a lot of people would think, oh, fourth door system, let's go through each door, and it possibly loops you right back around here. True. Or worse, your leader Oi. is not incorrect. That is actually one of the most classic trap systems and one of the most classic cons True. the kansas city shuffle make a person think the answer is one of a select few options when the real answer is none of them 
the classic bowl. Which cup is this bowl hidden in? Hidden in the bowl is in fact in the conman's wrist the whole time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <clears throat> which which way do you want to go, Nefro? I just want to try out this one theory first, and she plucks one of the sunflowers from the garden. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear. What does she need to roll? I had a character, I knew it! <sighs> you said you. We said the flowers were magical. We didn't say or know if the flowers were a trap, so instead of jumping the gun saying, I knew it, let a theory play out. Yep. So we know there's magic involved, but we don't know that the magic is on the fire. Mm -hmm. Wicked, what happens? Uh, give me one moment, need to find something. Oh no. Okay, so you pick the flower and you see something shining in the ball of the flower? Huh? It's a stone. That as soon as you pick up the flower, the flower quickly withers and dies, leaving only the stone behind. Hmm. Well, we can't use the flowers as the way I intended, but by the looks of it, each flower has a stone in it. I would say it's something like a, a steed. With your years at the Crystal Forge, you know for a fact this is a gem. Oh! Is, this, is it magic? Is it magical? The magic is now gone. We'll tell Matt right that the magic is not on the stone. Okay, then. So there goes your plan for the flower crown. But hold on, what you been doing? Zaren, I need all here. Uh, Zaren, Zaren, tra translation for Zaren, engineer. Zaren, uh, lady of fire. So Nephrite. Oh, thank you. And this is Nephrite nicely. So, so to uh, hold her, she goes. Her because of her fiery personality and the fact that she used, that she does, you know, fire bolts. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Nephrae will give the gemstone... Hang on, wait, what gemstone is it? Um... It is... It is a jet stone. Oh! Well, she'll give it to a leash. Just... Would you mind hanging on to this for a moment? Holnir needs my attention. Coming, right. coming, coming! No, that and... I'm just, I'm I'm uh, I'm typing out the uh, spelling. Gotcha. Uh, but what's up? He points to the inscription. Okay, so beginning. I'm the beginning of every seed that grows. When we, uh, when uh, the DM gets a moment, is there any magic on? Either? There is a bit of magic on the pedestals, but look, but it feels incomplete. There is incomplete magic upon these pedestals. We will go over and see what's on this. It is light. Uh, after the little side chat, Quen, um, it's going to go to this one, and is it in common? Yes, yeah, surprisingly, they're all in common. Okay, This then. is what's in front of a leash. Okay. Um, 
I may suggest just maybe the four pedestals and four doors. If that's the case, maybe the maybe this is more like a rid riddle. We have to find the pieces at the e end of each hallway, okay? Then bring them back and put them on the white right one. This one is for the augments. So, Elijah's one is the first one, Augment's the second, which one is in front and all. But, to respond to Quen's statement, that's what I was thinking earlier, but with doors and people. Thinking, walk behind each person. But. And the one for now? Yeah. It's for brevity, uh, I'll read that, the fourth one. Yeah, and Augment does read through what. Though I kill, I also provide life. I, as a player, as a player, I know what that is. I whisper. think so. Jovial will stand. I'm going to whisper to you what I think it is. No. Oh. And versatile and can use for different forms. It can be used for different forms. But again, no, I think we do have to go through the doors. Mm. Glenn, I asked you two earlier, can you work on that while we see if there's anything else in the room? Atacato, I, Atacato, I didn't hear you, Cactus. You are muffled. Sorry. Uh, I, while we're looking at Quan, how about you go do what I asked you to do with the doors? And short side chat thing, so. Atacato, dang it, you're still muffled. Check ah. the doors. Check the um. doors for traps, because I put it in the side chat. Okay. Uh, yep. So. Sorry, Cactus. You were no a bit muffled. No problem. <laughs> I got low on my end as well. Yep. So you, you guys don't really know anything from your investigation. Elise, with your detect magic, you do detect some sort of like magical force with these doors that yes you can walk through through it but you know that it feels like there's magic behind these doors so we can walk through the doors but there is something magical possibly on the other side is we'll it the place by one of the number of counter spells to see if I can get rid of it or no. It's not really counter spell that can get rid of a certain spell that lingers. Is the spell magic? I can use that as well. I I heard something go off. I swear to God. My ears are going off on something. Anyway, though I can I also provide life from farming standpoint. It sounds like. That's what I'm thinking as well, but I don't want to jump the gun. Like water to I'm sorry, but this sounds like water to me. Well, when you uh, light a... Like, when you're uh, cleansing a field of weeds and stuff, you use fire to burn, to, to make them ash, which provides uh, nutrients for the soil. <laughs> And I would say water would be the I am versatile and can be used in different forms. You mean like Wait, I... solid, liquid, and gas kind of idea? Wait a moment. Everyone stand back and get away from this pedestal. I have an idea. Oh, by the gods. Chanti, we are sorry for desecrating your temple if this is the wrong answer. Oh. No, get back. Uh -huh. Wait, what are you doing? Everyone is as far away as possible, including Holmir. 
Uh, if anything, I was just going to put a lit torch on the pedestal. That's what I was thinking, too. Be on the same side. Oh, oh so you changed your mind from the water answer? If that answer is water, then I would say put, like, a water skin on there that's filled with water. This one what? is... This one is the fire thing. I think this one may be water. What's the second uh, one? The, the war was on uh, this one. The, the one on the far uh, left. Question. Are we assuming that the riddle is for three different things and not all clues it's, for the one thing? It's four different things. No, it's four different, four different things. Five. Yes, my apologies. I am, versat I am versatile and can be used for different forms. That, that would be sounds, water. That, so sounds like me that sounds like metal. Mm -hmm. What does metal have to do with you know, nature? Well, to be I... fair, metal is a part of nature. It's out of character, I think I, I'm starting to get it. Fun. And was a, which door should we go through first? Let's try to get that done with. If at all. Um, Stone wanted to say, I believe Stone wanted to say something. Uh, just the... the... So you just mentioned metal. There is a there is a uh, series of four elements that includes metal. I, I it's like in some sort of mythology. Uh, darn Chinese. it! I you're talking, about the, you're, you're talking about the Chinese elements. Yes, that's why. Uh, uh, curse you, warriors of virtue! Actually, it's five. Yeah, it'll be five. Well, we there's only four, four pedestals: four fire, earth, water, and air. No, hmm. Wait a second. And, uh, yep. and there's, there, there, there's, there's Yep. For the first pedestal, I am the beginning of every seed that grows. The beginning will be earth. Because that's where you get nutrients at the seed. Second would be I provide and I provide and take for all life. That actually sounds more like fire. Because in order to provide for life, you need fire to cook. As well as take all life, that will be cleansing a field. Though oh, I kill, I, I also provide life that can still qualify for water as well if you freeze ice or freeze something within a body, within somebody's body. Say, if I'm... Say, Burgess says, actually... The seed from all... I believe the seed from which all things grow would in fact be air. After all, for anything to grow, it must take its first breath. That which is suffocated will die shortly. Fire does not fit for the provide life, because while fire is used for cooking human food, when it comes to all life, it doesn't exactly provide much. However, water, on the other hand, does kill and provide life. One can yes. drown in water, but one also needs water to survive. And as for versatile and used for different forms, well, it's more versatile than the Earth itself. Mm -hmm. And I just... Anything? Oh, no, if that's the case, I know it's behind all four doors. Cat, I'm sorry for jumping the gun. I think I know it's behind all four doors. And yeah, we don't. we won't know until we actually go through it. Let's uh -huh. go down a door to prove a point. So, yep. which door do you want to go through? Save or you choose. If there's a sequence. Sorry, before I make my decision, leader, may I ask what your theory is? If all four pedestals are a theory, well, if all four pedal, if all four pedestals are in sequence, elemental related. What if behind each door is a different elemental? Hmm. Or, or, this is all just about farming. Potentially, but if we're going from Nephrite theory, may I ask, in terms of all the elementals we're dealing with, which ones do you find yourselves most equipped to easily handle. Or... I myself am not exactly going to be able to stab living fire, water, air, or earth. 
Alright, cur- thanks. Because my connection to my weapon is magical, so might be able to do something. And through our history, Earth is actually the only adult. Earth is the only elemental that the rest of us have fought, except for Holnir. Uh huh. And Ogman. Sorry. And what have, and what elementals have the two of you fought? To my knowledge, none. All right. So let us shall we start with the Earth elemental then, if this theory is correct. Seems to be the one that would be the de- easiest to deal with straight away. There's which an issue, but we don't know which door. Correct, now, but we don't know which door holds the elemental. Do you think maybe we just need to put the elemental on the pedestal? That would require us fighting four elementals at the same time. No, that's difficult. That's or not we, what I meant. Or we could just go through the doors. Please tell me you're not doing what I think you're about to do, Jovial. All right. Uh, Kat, could you ping which uh, this pedestal had the elemental, uh, had the earth, had the versatile he used for different forms, one on it? Versatile for different forms, that is this one. Okay, so the one okay. I found. I have a theory that that pedestal may potentially correspond to this door. Which one? I just pinged it, this one. Okay, so the back left one. Thank you. Let's go to the back left then. Everyone right. prepare for combat. Still back left door. Everyone prepare for combat. Armin is going to, in a nutshell, be completely ready for combat. Weapon drawn and ready for pretty much anything. I'm here to. What if it's just that we need to put the elements on the pedestal though? Do you Ooh. know what an element is? Yes. So we're, uh, holding on, Nephra, I believe Where, you guys coming over. Um, Jovial, are you coming? Because yeah. Dragon's BRB. Yeah. And it just hit me that in, maybe behind those doors is what we need to put on the pedestal. Mm-hmm. True, but we should at least pre- be prepared in case we need to fight, as the others are suggesting. Hold on, yep. since you're the bulkiest of us, I'd recommend you open the door. Everyone's back just in case. Yep. Perfectly honest, this is reminding me of a certain movie. <laughs> what? Fifth eh? Element. Not now. Not yeah. now, but later on. Yep. Yeah. All right. I touched the door. Okay, you touch the door, and it feels like your hand's gone right through the door. Interesting. What's going on? Remember that once we go through the door, we might not be able to come back out until whatever's on the other side has been dealt with. Yep. So, in order then, since the door seems to only fit one person at a time, I'm going to recommend goes whole near null myself over uh, Quinn. Goes literally through the door. As I was discussing a plan. Well, there you. <laughs> and, and Null falls behind. And then Arvin goes after Null. I never, I never proclaimed Holnir to be smart. I know. As soon as you step through the door, Holmir, it feels like a, a whiff of mist of, um, is in the air. Like mist. Like this. Oh. This hallway feels really, really damp. Like if you guys ever been outside when yep. you know dew uh. has. Is everywhere that I feels have, like in this hallway. Yeah. Fair. So, could we just say everyone gets in pretty much instead of just being in one giant lineup here? <laughs> 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 mm. 
So <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying. Oh darn it! It's done. It's doing that again. No, it's okay. Must I make any saving throws with my mad dash through? As of right now, not yet. Now it's acting up again. Yeah. And it was doing that for me too. Pat, I swear if you're about to do what I think you're gonna do, I'm gonna slap myself. He then slapped himself in a bout of overacting hamminess. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. You didn't pull what I think you were going to pull. Thank goodness. Because I thought you were going to shut the door in front of Nephrite and be like, nope, you're locked in there now. That would be crazy. Oh, you could do. Think I'd do something that mean. Yes. No, but I've had it happen to me. For me, it's been scary as fucking, so... Uh, did pull near trip anything? As of right now, not yet. Okay. Dragon, I think what we're doing is letting Holner dash ahead, activate all the traps. After all the traps have been set off, then we follow. <laughs> Am I in a universal agreement with that statement? I mean, yes, but no. We don't want Honier getting hit too much. He's our tankiest boy. I have, I don't have, have, I have, I have advantage on dexterity saving throws against all traps and magic. Okay. You forget. Roll of the dice. This is true. Yes, so so I the will, dice could screw with you. Though I will say this. Anyone watch uh, Dominic Noble? Uh, Not familiar with the guy. <laughs> okay, there's uh, one of his videos. I'm imagining, but basic. I'll show you guys later. But I'm imagining Holner doing it as he just like to a room full of traps. <laughs> when he runs in, there's a massive uh, cacophony of noise, and he's just standing in the middle, unhurt, while everything else is uh, activated. <laughs> More well, like him just casually, him like him casually stroll link through a room as like they're like all these traps are just firing at him and he's just walking past them casually while they all miss him or bounce off him harmlessly oh, oh, yeah. oh you mean like that uh, scene in billy and mandy yes well oh i, I was didn't... not expecting that yes uh. you, as you guys enter this room you see a pool filled with um water um well oh, i picked the wrong element some, some heavy mist um it's over that that water and in the middle in the very deep end of the pool you see a glowing blue <sighs> orb we should definitely be be prepared for an elemental to show up that reminds me of uh, something from uh, Dungeon Meshi. Uh, but... Can we continue on with the session, please? I don't think. Uh... Okay, because we're gonna so... do is try to figure out a way to get it without triggering anything. So, Holner, can you let us all in? Glowing water orb in pool. Mm. He points to a liege. Augment points to a liege. Too far. Actually, looks more like a bath. I'm trying to say let a liege get in there to see if he can do what his defect magic can allow. Well, there's a space right next to him. Okay. Okay. Just barely out of range, so... You're gonna have to go up a bit more. Yep. Yeah. 
Nice crack of a cold one. <sighs> Root beer. So, Leash, if you detect magic, you definitely detect magic within the orb. Not so much mm. with the water. Ow. Is it safe? Uh, what, uh, Leash will check to see what kind of magic. It is a... a sort of elemental magic within the orb. <sighs> it is, uh, elemental magic within the orb. Hmm. Water seems to be normal. Vibes. Could I, um, could I go up there to see if there's any trap connected to it? You may certainly try. All right, time for investigation. We're not actually nearby it, so. No. Oh! Mm. Nope. So. You did not detect anything. Humor me, everyone. I have a bad idea. Augment's gonna go to the edge of the water. Um, the edge? Yep. Of glory. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. That was good. Okay, what do you do? Cat, you should know exactly what I'm doing. I can only do this once a day, everyone. So, sorry, I'm gonna say this. I can only do this once a day. So, going to. Oh, whoops! I think that was sent to DM only. Yeah, DM only. Sorry. Let me try again. There we go. Oh. So control water on the water around the orb to. Move the orb, and give me a second. He wants to move the orb to about here, or like this, using the water near a liege. But after it's close to a liege, he's going to return the water to the pool and not cancel the spell, but leave it passive sort of idea. Okay, so you move the orb towards this end of the pool. Uh-oh. And that's all you're gonna do with it? No, I said I want to put it in front of a leash. Oh, so you're actually gonna have the water reach out out of the pool to a leash. Yes, and then retract into the pool back after depositing the orb, so... Okay. I'm not feeling about this. Alicia, you take the orb? Please, we'll look over the orb. There are the indications that it's in all arcana. Yes. You can definitely see a blue swirl in the in the orb as if a whole underwater whirlpool is in in the orb. Um these will touch the orb. Okay. It is really, really warm to the touch, as if it has been soaked in scalding hot water for for a long time. Is this? 
remove his hand. Is this a hot tub? <laughs> um, think about extreme hot tub. You're welcome. Well, that would explain why everything's why it's so damn damp in here. Yeah. Well, we got one orb. So uh, he'll, he'll wait to see if it cools down. Check it again. It takes a while for it to cool down now that it's out of the hot water. Like, if you wait for it to cool, it will exceed the 10 minutes of the, um, of the detect magic. Okay, so, we'll let everybody know, it's like, uh, in order for me to redo the detect magic, I need to do it again. Uh, this needs to cool down after being in the hot water, so I will start Doing that. At least, better idea, instead of us waiting. Because I think, because correct me if I'm wrong, Mephra, don't you have some gloves? Well, I need to, I need to redo the spell anyway. Well, Mephra can carry this with her gloves if they could possibly negate it. Mephra! Sound, you there? Sound, can you hear us? Oh, she's muted. I forgot I was muted because I said I was back and I just made a snide comment like, no, I just have extra skin on my hands. Yes, here I come. <laughs> can you here she that? comes to save the day. Can you, la -la. Can you carry oh, that God. back with us instead of needing to wait the, however long it's going to take to cool down? La -la. Yeah, I can hold it. I can hold the orb. Okay. I don't know. If anyone gets that reference, you're awesome. Alright, and just to make it easier, I'm going to take the token off the board for a moment, but you are holding on to the orb. Okay, and... Is it burning that instead of waiting or no? Is it really burning? Because it just feels like it came out of a hot tub. <laughs> like, okay, depending on how hot the water was, because if it was, like, scolding hot, then Ephra would have, like, maybe a second-degree burn on her hands. But if it's, like, hot enough to where it's MJ not really was boiling... Was literally boiling water. Yeah, really oh, then I was like water, first... but it's been out for some time that it has cooled down a bit. Oh, so that would be, like, maybe... Hey, wait, what the lightest burn? Was it third degree or first degree that was the lightest? First degree is the lightest. That's, like, a sunburn or... A mild burn. Second degree is when it is like you are, but you've burnt off a, a layer of skin. Third degree is when you've burnt yourself down to the muscle. Like right. that's when you've like exposed muscle and bone for how Ugh. deep the burn is. Which, by the Ugh. way, is actually technically the least painful because at that point you've been burnt so badly you don't have nerves there anymore. Oh, <laughs> uh, right, can you redo it as we walk? If it's possible, if... Okay, then. So we'll get back to the main room, and we'll give you time to cast it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the... Mir, we're not here for cooking. Come on. Well, Mir, are you seriously using a boiling hot tub to cook a hot dog? Oh, do you have any eggs, by chance, Oh, No. Well, I'm not sticking around here. Come on. He's going we, need to, to start, we need to get going, because if we have a water orb, we need to see what the other three doors have to offer. Yes, so he's going to grab Holnir by his mighty mohawk, and drag him back. Out of character, I'm sorry, I thought it would be funny. Out of character, I thought it was something incredibly brutal. No, 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 no brutality. Brutality. <laughs> and I'm just putting the orb in inventory until further notice. Just water orb. 
and Nephrite. Yes? You, as soon as you cross that blue line there, you oh, no. feel something. Uh-oh. Can we blue and line then, as in the doorway? No, the blue line's on the, on the, um, the room. Oh, no. oh boy. Uh, as soon as you cross no. over, everyone in that room starts to feel a little hotter than than what it was before. Ooh. And, and this uh. is just going to be a little bit of imagination as they, and um, improvisation, but you see the water start to overflow. Run! Oh no. Uh, let's, uh, you know, cook it. And Augment starts running as well behind everyone, making sure everyone is in front of him. <laughs> so, Elise, not right, you're in front of him before he'll even start running. Elise, let's go. And if anybody has a way to block that... The, or... Mm, I got an idea, but I need somebody to hold the orb. Hold it. Go beside that fight, open up his bag. As transfer of possession of the of the orb. Get about fifteen feet away from me. Because I don't want to cast this and that's but and that orb just completely gets. Yep. Everyone dexterity blank. saves. Oh, no. oh go. Trap. <laughs> okay, Let me I'll, do trap. The, I'll do the save. Oh no. I'll mark it. <laughs> Wow, me and Ogden get the exact yeah. same. Ugh, nuts. Okay, let me just quickly do it for uh, for Tana. Should I also do a save for uh, for Avenger? Um, no, oh, not yeah, Avenger yeah, and over. not Zuri. Okay. Yep. I'm about to say, okay, Zuri is flying ahead of Mom, because Nefred also doesn't want to get Zuri in this, so Zuri is just going to tuck himself on hold near his mighty mohawk. Yeah, th <laughs> thankfully all of you are okay. You guys reach can reach the end of the hallway. Uh, okay, so it, quick question. Is the water still coming? Water is still coming. This is like Indiana Jones' cup of doom water. Good question. Is the water magical in any way, shape, or form? Um, do you really have time to think about that? Oh, it's sorry. Just a good question, because I got a spell. And you forget, though, I never said I dismissed my control water spell. Um, at this point, there's a lot more water than what you can control. I'm able to control. Okay, fair enough. It, okay, Shay. Water just appeared out of nowhere. Sud boiling water appeared out of nowhere and is suddenly rushing towards you. Yes, I'm pretty sure we can assume it is magical. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, nice visual effect. In the direction of the water. <laughs> so. Uh, what level? I, I can only cast it at base, so third. So I gotta do an arcana check or spell casting check? Uh, spell um, yeah, Arcana check. Uh, okay. Uh, I think it would be an intelligence check, actually. Oh, intelligence yeah, check? It would actually be under your spell attack bonus check, I think it would be. No, it, no it's just with the uh, plus five. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Just click on the intelligence. So just roll intelligence? Yep. Ugh. Still the exactly. same! Yeah. Yep, you can so. tell that this is higher level, is um higher level spell, and you guys are nearly drowned by the water. Ugh. I've been waiting for the rest of them to go. So go 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 go. go. <laughs> me and Arkman, oh wait, me and Holy are already at the door. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, say what? Uh, touch, touch the door. I know, wait, I know. And uh, I take control over Zuri since I am aligned. Yep. Save her! Save her! Save her! Yep, save her! Uh, yep, yep, yep. 
You're almost Ten making more. me call for another deck save from you. Sorry. Okay. At this point, time, Armin grabs Sailor by his arm and goes, Boom! Before he goes, <laughs> the bucket. Sorry, that was me. Uh, again, I'm... Tired, I... yeah. Understand. No, 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 I was going to say, I don't... This is why I, I often don't play uh, with tokens. Well, Understandable. So, is the door able to be opened? Yes. <laughs> yes, you just gotta go through it. Go! Go, 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 go! And I have control over Aval I have control over Avenger as well. As well, I almost said Avalon. God dang. Good. Everyone's through. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. and then yep. leaps you see, Yep. You see the water coming a little closer, but it feels like it splashes on on the wall. <sighs> well, we know what to expect <laughs> now. Yep. Good thing I had access to that control of water, or else we'd be swimming in boiling water. <laughs> and even though I tried my best to stop it, it's a bit too high for me. Yeah. And we still have to deal with fire, earth, earth, fire, and air. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, well, since well, we're close to this one, let's let's head for the uh, southwest. Hold it. Let's try to figure out which. To put the orb on instead of risking the orb. Exactly. So come on. He's gonna head to this pedestal and read it again. Trying to figure out which one is which. Would be though I kill, I also provide life. That's the that was number three. Yes. That, that would indeed be my theory for the water one. Say again? It would indeed be my theory that water is killing and providing life. Wouldn't that also be fire, though? We fire does not usually one. provide life. While it and can, like... it is in very rare, specific, and roundabout circumstances, and fire itself does not provide life. Exactly. Well, Another thing and, that I could be is the iron versatile and can use and can use for different forms as well. It could also be water, which is this one. True. It, it could be used for water, but at the same time, considering how uh, that you know the boiling water we just had to deal with, that could be more appropriate to number three. Indeed. Give me a moment. So are you putting the order on? Nope. I rolled that to see like what of the riddles would fit best with the orb, and I have a feeling it's gonna be Jack Diddley poop. <sighs> so are you putting the orb on the third pedestal? Pedestal number three, yes. Okay. Alright. Oh no, Ogden has the orb because you gave it to him when you were trying doing yes. it. So Ogden puts it on the third. And then as soon as he puts on it, he ducks. He just books it to the side hole now. Nothing happens. Seems like we oh, might have a it. Oh, that's a good sign. Yep. Right. Okay, then let's see behind. Let's see what's behind this door. Yeah. Armin's gonna. Since the last door wasn't trapped, Armin's gonna be. Actually, he's still cautious, but not crazily cautious. And slowly opens the door. Uh, your hand goes right through this door, too. Same as the last one. So are you waiting for Elise to get done? I would say so, so that way in case something does pop up, we have someone who can detect it. Yep. Now we jump ahead in uh, no, 10 minutes. Yeah, yep. jump ahead 10 minutes. You mark you mark your detects your detect magic. Um, if he's doing it via ritual, I don't think he loses a spell slot. Crush nope. me from wrong dragon. That's right. Great. Sorry. So same as last time, Honer, you first. No, myself. He, well. yeah. All these would sacrifice. They should be sacrificing time 
instead of false spots. All right. Yeah. This time, Elise will be behind Olnir so that he can sense anything magical. Yep. The Null, Arvin, Quen, Saber, Cortana, and Nephrite. Nephrite in the back. Mm hmm. Saber, Cortana, Nephrite. Yes. Okay. Well, near goes through, and if you think the boiling water room is um, warm, this we one found the fire is room. Super hot. Reminds, reminds me of reminds me of home. Uh, I could I could picture it. Yeah, well, <laughs> kind of uh, That reminds me of being back in the Forge City. Uh, well, there. If you don't start running there, we're gonna gra- run there, grab it, run back. That's the plan. <laughs> then at least find Holnier. Oh right. Uh, I'll, and I'll, 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 I'll. Well, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, friends on top of me. Ah. I thought it was supposed to be behind Null. No, Oddman no, is. I need to get actually, to since, actually, since this hallway is a lot bigger, we can actually just spread out where each of us are on each side mm-hmm. instead of being in a single file. True. Okay, so here's the best time. Who here has access to something that can cool down metal? The closest thing I got is uh, Ray of Frost. That's the digitation for me. No, I got that too, so... As much as I don't want to use it, I have access to this... Oh, wait, never, oh, never mind, out of character. Because... Give me a second. Must I make any saving throws as I go through? Uh, no. Alright. Well, I have the ability to use a spell, so... I think I know what fun I can have. Wait, Nefri? How heavy was your when you tried handling it? Say again? Was it less than 10 pounds? I actually never asked for the weight, but I think it was less than 10 pounds. Cat? Yes? Was it less than 10 pounds? Uh, which one? The orb for the water? I would say yes. <laughs> mm. I know what, what spell you're thinking of. Like? I have a spell. So what does Holdier see beyond this? Or is that another door? That's another door. A very heavy metal door. Fun. I, um... I would suggest being careful with that. It, metal does conduct heat. Can you inspect it for traps or if there's any mechanism to open it? Sure. Anyone? Oh yeah, at least she's asking, is the door magic? No. Okay. So, Quinn investigated the door, probably. Hmm. Uh, you want me to give it a shot? Um, you see, like, a, a bank wheel on, on the door. Guys, I am so sorry. My investigation is sucking tonight. That's okay. Roll the dice. It's alright. So, okay, so, there's a wheel on door? Hold here? No? Do you mind cranking open the door? Oh, yeah. Wait, you want me to open the door? No, I'm hold here. No, not you, Quan. Oh. Yeah, I got a plan. Dang it, I did not hear that correctly. So, all right, but do we require a uh, strength check or athletics? Uh, I would say um, just straight strength. Okay. And would they have advantage if they're working together? Um. Yeah. Um. I, since it, if that would only be for one of us, I would say that would go to Holnir. Yeah. So, strength? Yep. Yeah. Strength and advantage. advantage. 
Just a normal strength roll. Okay. Yep. yep. Right. We give our, our strength to you. Fourteen. <laughs> I think he opened up the door. Yes, he? he does. And as he does, I need everyone to make a con save. Mm. Oh. Yay, I'm okay. For <laughs> once. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. Let me get a massive, massive heat wave. Yep, massive heat wave. That anyone underneath ten takes three. Damage. One. Oh, that's takes nine Cutie. damage. Ouch. So typical, uh, typical summer weather in Atlanta. Uh, not, not Atlanta, Charleston. Hey, so, typical weather in Texas. Uh, uh, true. So the door is open. What do does the party see? Uh, they see this. Okay. Uh, give me a moment, guys. Also, what happens um, with me with rolling in that one? Um, you add another three to that. Yay. So you have a twelve, and also I don't see myself. You're Damn right beside uh, side saber. Uh, give me a second. Oh jeez. Does anyone have something that can get me just up in the air a little bit? Mm mm. Oh, um, can Katana fly over on the broom and carry someone? I'm more worried the room might burn up in that heat. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that too. Same. Sorry. So nobody can cast fly on me. I do. Oh, I can. Do that. I have a plan. All right, hold on. Let me just get adjacent to you. And mm -hmm. thank God I took that spell. Good for you and I talked about that. So, uh, give me a second to find a wing. One. There we go. So I'm trying to find a decent marker. There we go. I'm just going to give myself that one for the marker. So I can fly 60 feet. Okay. So um, I fly. So I'll fly five feet off the ground, so I'm no longer on the ground. No, 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 no. no. You are for t up to 10 minutes. You gain a flying speed of 60 feet. Which means you can just fly yeah. for up to 10 minutes. Oh, I know, but the rest of my plan, I'm going to fly off the ground 10 feet. Not 10 feet, sorry. 5 feet. Fly into the room just through the door to make sure I'm still not touching the ground. Um, out of character, should the rest of us start running back? Yes. Okay. No, I need you to stay in range, though. So. Yep. I'm going to fly up to where I have my bet, my mark, so I'm going to fly to 30 feet of it. Make a deck save. Uh, oh, good. Uh, oh, great. Yeah, you huh. failed. As you fly, you see that column of um, open grates? Uh, a couple of them shoot fire right into your direction. Oh! oh. Giving you... Ten damage. Ouch. Give me a second. That's new. Ouch. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Ow. No. Yeah. Damn it. Does... He doesn't need to maintain the spell. Now that augments within 30 feet of it. Maintain to carry it. Yep. And in the meantime, I'm going to fire off... Uh, I would like to try to fire off uh, the uh, a ray of frost on top of two of the uh, two of the grates. Can you do that while concentrating on the fly? They're instantaneous, so so they are they're cantrips, and you know, their duration is instantaneous, so it, uh, it does not interfere with the concentration. Yeah, Augrin is going to now bring the orb to here. Making sure it's behind this line. 
in the mage hand. Yeah. He's then going to fly... Because how high did the geysers of fire reach? Um, they reached all the way to the ceiling, which is about, uh, about, uh, 30 feet. Okay, then better plan. Um, is going to, I would just want to make sure I'm still within the range of this. Yes, I am. So now Arm is going to fly over the lava and around these geysers with the orb still staying um, over there. Make a con, a con save. Oh, you're kidding me. Nope, because you're still within range of the geyser. Uh, well, not with the geyser, but have you ever been so close to a volcano? The volcano fumes almost, um, knock you I off. Have. Yeah, yeah. You look lucky. To... You're lucky you passed. I am. Oh, I, I used to live in Hawaii. Oh. So I've, I've been to, I've been to, I've been to Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea, and Kilauea. So, Kat, I'm going to put it to right here. To right before the fire jets. Okay. Then I want to make sure, though, so someone ping me. I'm going to fly to where the end of this marker is. Because that's still within range of the spell. As soon... And then he's going to, as fast as he possibly can, in combination... Have the mage hand bring the orb as close as it can to him, so that way he can put it into his bag and book it with the rest of the group. Okay. As he flies with the rest of the group past them and flying for his life. Okay, so basically, your mage hand throws the the orb into the bag of holding and you book it. Yeah, pretty much. So yeet! I just fly past everybody. And Null will be right behind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, close the door. Ask... Good call, because you start seeing erupting lava spews. Uh, I make a, yes. I make a strength check? Yes. Close the door? Yes. At advantage or normal? At advantage. 14. Oh, because you're dangerous. Yes, you do manage to close the door. But it Hold starts to turn pocket. red. Hold here, start oh. running! Oh. <laughs> so, give me a minute, I'm going to... So I'm just doing some token stuff, so I will be one moment. So, remove that. Because Omri is going to land on the floor before running out. Before going out, with making sure everyone is out before him once he's out the door. Saber, Quinn, out now! Give him a sec, give him a sec. I know. <laughs> Uh, first, he's running out the door. 